Okay, so is there anything else I want to take with me before I go? Um, Maybe take this with me. Ooh, Honestly. I didn't even realize you had a... Uh... Yeah, no, that's been in there since the very beginning. And, uh... The, uh Where is the this. closet room? The closet room? Yeah. You know what? Let's go there, too. Because we're probably never going to come back to the mansion. Alright, cool. Because I've never seen the closet key, like, used before. Oh, fuck, our pet zombie's still there, too. From the original... <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, stupid. Stupid idea, stupid idea, stupid idea, stupid idea. two of them. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot about that. Oh. The hype. The hype. The hype. No, you can all just fuck off. Get the yellow gem? Yep. Is it a mo disc that's on the other side? It is. I want to say it was. For Chris's at least. I've actually never gotten this far with Jules' campaign. Well, I mean, I have, but like, I've never, like, gotten... No, I have, I, I mean, what am I trying to say here? I have never gotten this far with her. I've gotten this far with Chris, hence why I'm able to have, like, these different costumes. But I've never, like, actually completed her game. I know what happens in it, though. Like, I know how it, like, ends and stuff, and I know all the choices you can have. Same thing with Chris. I mean, Chris, you don't really get a choice. It's more like... Oh, someone streams somewhere else in some other area. I'm not gonna worry about it. And they're just dead. Yeah, Chris doesn't really have so many choices as he has um, things you have to either do or not do in a time amount. Right. Because if you don't get to Rebecca when she screams in time, then she gets killed by a hunter. And then you have to kill that hunter, and you have to deal with your death. Which, I'm surprised she doesn't turn into a zombie either. That would be depressing as shit, honestly. They probably didn't want to make her model. Her um, her graphics model for it, you know what I mean? True. Like a practical reason behind it, they didn't want to have to texture it out and stuff. Mm. I mean, it, yeah, it's kind of like a mining thing, you know? Like it's it's very unlikely no one's gonna be like, oh, where did that stream come from? Unless you're like me, the first time you're playing, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna wander about. Not See, I had to look that from. up. I was not gonna try and run around the mansion and find her. <laughs> There's no way. No, by the time he did, she'd probably be dead. Too. Like, by the time you actually tried and find her without, like, a guide or something, which, like, <sighs> granted, yeah, this game does have that kind of stuff, but, like, I just get so much more satisfaction just, like, solving the shit without using- I mean, I will definitely, like, for that- no, no, don't do that. Is there a zombie gone? No, he's not! No, he's not! <laughs> oh, Philip. Fred, whatever so the fuck is it was. in there? Oh, that's a painting. Yeah. Uh, Spencer talks about it in one of his things. Like how he hides in this closet room for a little bit. Oh, wow. Like, you can go in here and, like, say I'm not satisfied with this costume, which I could change from the very beginning. I could change it to anything. I could... Wait, casual Jill? Oh, wait, no, this is casual Jill. What the fuck? BSA Jill? What? That... Oh, yeah! I forgot, that's a thing. That is the costume I was talking about that you can pick that from the beginning. Right. See, because this is her. She wears this in the Lost in Nightmares DLC for five. And then it's like one of her alternate costumes in the Mercenaries. I like no, it. I don't like it. I mean, I, it's, I like the looks of it, but I don't like it for this game. What does Army Joe look like? I forgot what she look like. Is this the Sarah Connor costume? The low key Sarah Connor costume? Maybe. Yeah, it's Sarah Connor. I mean, just like with sunglasses, but now this. She looks like Sarah Connor. In I swear that's what she's wearing in the second one when she goes to kill that Miles guy in his house. Uh, I mean three? No, no, no. In Judgment Day, they're in Mexico. Oh, and she yeah, up no. For a bit. I swear that's what she was. She wears a similar outfit to this, yeah. Okay, uh, and then we can always just do the classic outfit too. We're just showing them all off here because some people out there don't have this game, unfortunately, which. It's a true crime or something out there just using this as a guide while playing along and you're like, oh, what's all this shit? I mean, you probably won't because it's going to be your first time, but this is I classic. Usually, I usually Jill. play with that costume on. Same. I've been playing Jill since I first touched this game, like, back in 2007, 2008 on my GameCube. Who do you feel is more iconic, old. honestly? Like, Jill or Chris? To me, it's Jill because I always play as Jill in my Resident Evil 1 playthrough, but then again... I I feel like Chris has become like the flag boy of the franchise, like the flagship dude. 
Right. He's he's on the, the he's same level as that. Leon. I True. think with icon. I iconicness. Like Yeah. He's, he's one of the iconic. main heroes. He's more iconic than Jill at this point. Because Jill has only ever had two games. Actually, wow, that's weird. She's only ever had two games that she's been like a focal point in. Revelations. No, three. Three. <laughs> My bad. I forgot about Resident Evil 3. There's and one, Revelations. three. She is in Revelations. She's in Revelations 1. And Resident Evil 5, she's there like as like a DLC campaign thing. So it's like, debatable, though. It's I mean, debatable. she is throughout the whole campaign. Uh, you just don't really get to play as her as much. Did oh, they break that bathroom they did. door? They did. Ooh. Shit. Wow. I'm doing this a very stupid way. There's going to be dogs in this hallway. Let's I know. And I'm running around without a fucking weapon. So many yep. This is why you don't do that, folks. I told you this in part one. I'm gonna tell you again in part whatever the fuck this is. Don't do this. It's a bad time. But we did it. No, well, we did it anyway. <laughs> Cause we're assholes. I mean, it would suck if dogs could bust through that door. I mean, a real life dog probably could. No. Yeah, it depends on how big the dog is and how powerful. You ever met my dog Snow? Like no. She could probably do it. She's a beast. What type of dog is your dog? Yeah, what type of dog is Snow? Like a Labrador mix. Labrador Retriever mix. Ooh. Like a good 80-ish pounds. She's pretty lean. She's got a lot of muscle on her. <laughs> I know, it's kind of a weird thing to say about my dog. But no, but still. It's real beasty. Like, it's hard to like think of dogs as like beasty and stuff. Because like, there's like... Okay, yeah, I can go this way. This would probably be safer. You know, I'd usually say she's a sweetheart, but I guess like the other day she killed a rabbit in our backyard. What the fuck? I know. I was I was proud of her, but at the same time I was like, "Damn, girl." You know? Vicious. Real real thug. My um Doing sister's dog do. killed a bunch of baby rabbits. Ooh. Like without like resent, just killed all these baby rabbits and the mother came back and she screamed. Is the predator instincts, man? Yes. Probably gonna get the mother rabbit too if it wasn't for you guys. You would have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The dog was just out for a, a day. Just out for nature. blood. Just the like a fucking rampage. I, it's just like, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. No, that dog was probably a beast though. You said this was your sister's dog? <laughs> my sister's dog, yeah. Shout out to uh, fucking Darwin. He's a fucking sweetie. But goddamn. When you're playing as Chris, isn't this the room where when you walk in it, um, Rebecca, Rebecca screams, screams, and you've got to run upstairs to where you find the lighter and stuff? Yep. Or where you would in uh, Jill's campaign, but not Chris's, because he always has that. Again, I prefer having the lock pick over the lighter. Right. Like, I don't get why, like, everyone wouldn't have that, you know? Like, going into this. Like, why wouldn't they all be taught how to pick a lock. Why wouldn't they all have, like, lock? But maybe that plays Chose the in. master of unlocking. <laughs> I know, but, like, maybe give her, like, the best, like, pot. Like, lick. Lick? Why am I saying lick? Lock pick. Lock pick. What the fuck's wrong with me? lick the lock pick. You lick the that lock. That picks locks of locking. Your tongue is just the lock pick. It just yeah. goes into the shape. They can unlock some, some, uh, some things. God damn it. <laughs> edit that out for you too. No, that's, that's <laughs> not the worst we've said on here. We all know this. True. We've said so much worse. The deal was, I'm all oh. me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My lateral cuss. <laughs> so I can't say stuff like, I want to lick your asshole. <laughs> Pineapple is a legitimate topic on pizza. Why? We've said so much worse. If you leave that Mo disc behind, are you not going to be able to end spoiler alert again? Get Chris at the end of yes the campaign. So are you gonna have to remember that when you go to fight Lisa and everything. Yes. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna have to. Work. It is, but like, I'm leaving the Magnum here too, just so I know. You can leave a lot of stuff behind for that fight. I am. Are you gonna backtrack to pick it all? Oh, up? definitely, definitely. I'm gonna make a fucking round trip. And just fast like, forward that. You know what I mean? Just the oh, that's what I'm doing. Music and just <laughs> oh, that's Batman. I guess that'd be Mimi. Oh, yeah, it could still work. The Adam sure. West cartoon. Okay. 
Oh, I was digging your costume that you had on Arkham Knight. I know I said something. During the failed playthrough that we, or failed episode we tried to record because my capture card kept shitting out on us. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with Arkham Knight, but I for some reason could not do that. Which, probably at this point in the future it might be done, it, probably not. <laughs> I don't really know. Honestly, at this point, it's just kind of doing whatever the fuck it wants. So, side note about that, how long have you been trying to get that set up now? Too fucking long. Like, months. Six came out, like, a, a month ago? Was it a month ago, or was it, like, two weeks ago? Six. Oh, yeah, six, six came out two weeks ago two in weeks June, technically. I know we're just fucking with people's perspective right now. This is all recorded, like, in the past of when you see it. So, like, everything that I'm recording right now, this is all, like, in the summer. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Kind of ruins the whole summer vibe. I forgot about that. I did, too. That guy there. Run, you f run. Run. Stupid bitch, run. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Run, bitch, run. Yes. My movie. Oh, God. Okay. So, I have to go back all the way over here to get the fucking battery. The one thing that I need. We're just fast forwarding through this shit at this point. Are you fucking me in the asshole? There's gonna be another one out there. I know, I know. God. Man. Run back right away. Oh, there's some green herbs right there. Still. There are. Did I actually use all these with Andy? I think you get like three uses out of that. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I do get three uses out of it. Okay. So I could just potentially just fuck them up here with my pistol and just run out here real quick. Or if I get too fucked up, I can go back out there. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, I'm probably not going to remember that shit. So let's see how many shots it takes to kill Hunter. Yeah, no. Too many. Too many. No. <gasps> Maybe run a different way this time. I can now, because I unlock that door in the hallway, so I can just fucking poke it through there. Did you need the crank, or did you put the crank back? I'm gonna need the crank. I'm, I'm just grabbing it now, just so I don't have to come back all the way over here. It's like no health, see there? No, I'm not taking anything for health. I want to get as much open space as I can. Yeah. Man, this way is actually coming a lot more in handy than I originally anticipated. Like, I'm so used to Chris's campaign, like, where I don't have this available to me, but honestly, I, I'm i not sure if I can go back to just not having this. Because it's so fucking convenient. There's no one out here, like, when you go back this time, you just fucking walk around. That's it. Did you have to fight some zombies in the beginning out here, though? I could have if I wanted to. I kind of got fucked up by some of them in the very beginning. Yeah. But they're gone now for some reason. You never Probably wandered off in the forest. No, I just let him be. Dodged him. I'm usually so good at dodging, too. Not to be like, oh, I'm so good at this game. Because I'm, I'm obviously not, because we've died so many times at this point. I used to be decent. Well, I know you move faster when you, um... Don't have weapon? Yes. Yeah, you do. But, like, I don't want to risk it on this. <laughs> I would if we were, like, on an easier difficulty. But I want to spice this playthrough up a bit. Give it some more oomph, because i played this so many times, making it more of a challenge for me. Let's make it more enjoyable for people, like, oh, what's gonna happen? He doesn't really know about this. So. No idea. <laughs> Am I actually good, or do I actually suck? I'm talking out of my fucking ass. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z... Zevil. Dude, but whoever that announcer was at the end of the original show hyped the fuck out of the next episode. He did. That's actually the voice of Teen Gohan. Really? In the Boo Chronicles, yeah. Well, he did a great job. He fucking did. Because especially during the Cell Saga, you would be hyped for that next episode. Especially when they're doing the tournament. You're like, oh my god, I need to see more. I can hear the, the hunter. Right, oh, this looks like ass right here. This is like a flat JPEG on this window. You can see it. <laughs> my dude, he's criticizing the outside. That's funny. That's true, though. I mean, I didn't notice it until you said it. <laughs> I will never not see it. The unseeable. Still in the of that window, for sure. Okay. You have both of your shotguns. In I do. Song. You know what? Let's just get rid of the shotgun, get it through one last time, 
kill that fucking hunter, go back here, and be crispy. Crispy? Why the fuck did I say crispy? You just want to get it real good. I just want it crispy. It's like a nice, it's like a nice thing of fries. It's golden crispy. It's gonna be golden and fucking crispy, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Are you gonna shoot the door wall thing? I am probably. The column. Column. Yes, that's what I'm gonna say. Look at him, he doesn't even bag. realize that I'm- <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, <laughs> scared the fuck out of me! I was like, oh shit! <laughs> oh, fuck, the one upstairs heard me. Think so? Yeah, he did, I heard him. Yep, here he comes, here he comes. He said, yeah, he did, oh no! <laughs> like a child coming down to tear open his Christmas presents. Except it's the lining of my stomach. Accepts, except. So now that shotgun is at a grand finish. Proud of it. But we're gonna put this all back here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it all back here. Do I need this sh I don't need it. I don't need it, Donalds. I don't need it. Oh, should I save? You know what? Do it. I would, just just I fucking would say do it. no. You would say no? I would say no. Just cause yeah, we really no. haven't done too much. We haven't done too much already. Really, honestly. And like, I can... There's really little room for error. Like, if I fucking die, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, that is... Can I don't think it's me? in front of you. Okay. Sure you're just not right having that auto-aim. I am. Not having that fucking auto-aim. It makes it so just like... Ooh. You don't have auto-aim on this one? No, I don't. <laughs> Doked him. You did. He was definitely gonna grab you on that. You had no way. Just come back. I can feel it. Man, I used to run through these hallways with like no weapons at all. As like Chris. I can do that on easy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And then what would be the fastest way? The fastest would be this way, honestly. The crow's nest. Crow's nest, crow's hallway. Kinda like the crow's nest for this way. Calling it that. It's befitting. With the painting room? Yeah. Cause like all those crows and shit are in there for some fun. Well, I mean, if you do it wrong, you get pecked to death. So. I think the same thing happens in the PlayStation. Yeah, no. Same thing happens. It's just the puzzle is a little different. It's like three paintings instead of four. Like, is this some youth, age, old thing? I talked about this before, and, um... I was telling Andy about this, because he's only ever played the PlayStation 1 version, so he brought it up. Mm -hmm. I think he brought it up? I don't, I, I don't know. Here we are referencing old episodes. I have a question for you, Dells. What did you think about the live-action Resident Evil movies? I liked the first two. Like, yeah? as movies, I, I liked the first two. But everything after that is garbage. Three, four, five, six, trash. Um, and even the first two aren't really that good. They're no. just they they kind of follow the video game storylines in the first two, like Loosely. definitely more than the rest. And that's why I liked them because the first one is you were in the mostly the, this one right here, Resident Evil One. But I know they go into the hive, which isn't really a thing in this in the video game. But it still had, like, the same core concept. Go to a mansion, find a secret underground lab, zombie outbreak. And then the second movie, Apocalypse, is more, like... It's more Resident Evil 3 storyline. It has Joe Valentine in this costume, actually. It's, like, straight out of the video game. Like, they... Right. That was perfect. The way and they actually had stars look. in it yeah. as well. Side note, there's, like, an Easter egg that has Leon Kennedy's name in one of the newspapers right at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> And How the fuck are you supposed to see that? I saw it. Oh, I was oh watching, you saw it? Yeah, I saw it. Like, I, I watched this movie really? so many times. Okay, this is my favorite. It was my guilty pleasure movie. I watched okay. it all the time. And I looked at it. And it's like, it's in bold. It's like, rookie cop Leon Kennedy died. Partner of Jill. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, if you go in what? there, it's it's at the beginning of the movie at some point. But that doesn't make any sense because he's in the movies later on, though. Oh no, they definitely broke their own canon. They fucking but did. they did that again in number six. Have you seen six? The final chapter. I fucking stopped after Afterlife. I was like, this is dumb. Ooh, four Afterlife is also my guilty pleasure. I know four is five. I think is the worst one hands down, but that's what I've heard. Four is definitely oof. Because I think 5 and 3. 5, 3, and 6 are trash. 6 might actually be worse than 5. <laughs> but 1, 2, best. 4 is okay. I agree. Like, I... As much as I hate the movies, 1 is definitely... If I had to watch 1 again, any of them, I would watch 1. Really? Yeah. Because I like, I like number 2 more than I like number 2. 2 is more of a guilty pleasure for me, too. Like, I like that it's actually trying to be... Doing its own thing with the canon. The canon of the game? Resident Evil, yeah. Fucking let go of my goddamn arm, Fido. Asshole, this is why I should have brought the fucking shotgun. He wrecked you. He did. I'm surprised I still have an arm. Yeah, I'm surprised you're still standing. I, I mean, <laughs> you're, you've got the caution for sure on. Oh, almost definitely. Danger. I'm, I'm in danger. Ooh, I'm in worse. danger. Oh, there's a dog standing right in front of you. Can we do it? Can we do it? You can, you can do it. You can do it. You get the second one too. Just run. Just go. Ooh, ooh, Just go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, boy. I have to go back there now too. Yeah, you should. I should have brought the shotgun. God damn it. The first aid spray. I should have brought the first. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a good idea too. Why do you have to do this again? Uh, to open up the way to the mine shaft. With the el the, the elevator stuck underneath. No, I brought it up. So now I have to go back around, take it down. Waterfall. Yep. Because of this. Did you bring the battery with you? Yeah, I put it in to activate the elevator. You did already. Yeah. I guess I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, it's okay. We've been talking about the movies and shit. Like, but really, the second one is the one that you find to be the guilty pleasure one. It's the guilty pleasure for me. Like, there's so much in it that's just like, oh. And is it as good as the first? No, the first one I feel was like. It tried to like stay in tone with the original Resident Evil. Um, good job. Um, I had a pucker there. <laughs> um, I could try it at least. Two is when it started to like do its own thing, and it's it's kind of like some of it was a little like stupid, like that one scene with the cigarette. Where she just happens to be there smoking a cigarette. Like, she knew the gas was on oh, in the ovens. Oh, and the dog. It's so fucking stupid. But cool. It's cool, yeah. You this like is it? like. When she flicks the cigarette and the whole kitchen thing just explodes in flames. But, like, there could have been a better setup to that, you know? Like, oh, to make it sure. even cooler. Thank God there's a fucking ink ribbon here. Oh, My yeah. God. Is there anything in here? No, there's nothing in here. Okay. Yes, I'm going to save my goddamn progress. A little trivia for people out there. I mentioned long ago how I always want to do a playthrough of this. Back when I was like 18 or so, still in college, I made it all the way here. I had done a one session thing, had like seven hours of footage. Want to know what I did? You accidentally deleted it. I didn't save <gasps> at all. Like I last saved right after my first encounter with Yawn and I made it all the way here. I fucking stopped that playthrough out of hatred. And because by at that point I was out of time to like post this when I wanted to. Okay. Do I need. You need the other crane. Yeah, I need this the other crane like here. The hex. This one is. This crane I think is useless now, isn't it? I no, it's not. You, There's one more usage one. Is there? Yeah, there is. You're gonna go through the next door, and I know there's a hunter that spawns for sure mm -hmm. after Enrico gets shot. There might be another one. Cause I know there's gonna be like a boulder that tries to crush you. There is. I don't think it's in this one. I think it's in a little bit. Ooh, we're gonna get fucked in the ass. Go right? I think there's something up there. Yep, there's the boulder. That's the boulder. A large boulder blocks away. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. <laughs> like they actually pull it back or some shit. Yeah, seriously, who's the one uh, moving that thing? <laughs> I don't know. Just got the hunters. It is, They're doing it. This is their cave, and they just like fucking push it up there, and just like peel the people off like the rock, and just they like start put it in. It. Yep, like, like a, a fucking snack. ham sandwich or something. That's funny. Yeah, a piece of turkey. 
It's living, you know, it gets all the bones out and shit. Okay. It's... Oh, there's not a lot of enemies here. We have so much handgun ammo now. Yeah. I'm liking it, but at the same time, I'm more partial towards the fucking, um... The shotgun now. Like, I I really wish I had brought that. It just has more stopping power. It does. It'll knock them backwards. Or at least stun them. Oh, you need the other Yeah, I need the other half of the shaft. This place is such a blur to me. Is that you, Jill? Oh, Enrico! Is that voice Enrico? <laughs> <laughs> You're alive! Stop! Are you with anybody, Jill? Oh. No. But why? He wants to get Stars a number. Finished. Right, he's trying to have her done. <laughs> On his deathbed. See, but doesn't that look like Wesker's boots and pants? I couldn't tell Wesker was wearing black pants. Ooh. Barry was wearing like khakis. Was he? I think so. Traitor? Who? <laughs> really? Force Awakens. Fucking Traitor! yes. Dude, but he was gonna wreck Finn. He already was too, I guess. Would have. He's going in. Look at that low res eyeball just hanging open. It would have been fucked if you like got him right in the head and like shot out his eye. Ooh. Like just all grisly and shit. His brains just start splattering everywhere. Ooh, yeah. No. <clears throat> Rico was dead. What could he have known? The well, secrets. he knew Rebecca was Live a still. thug. <sighs> Hello! You Fuck can't your mother! Back. Yes Ooh. I can. Yes I fucking can. Good job. That swipe kind of helped. A little bit. Like he was processing what to do, and I just... Is there another one out here? No, I don't there think isn't. there's one in this area. I don't there's think anything comes definitely gonna be here. one in the next hallway as you run back, though. Oh, I know. I know there is. Can we duke him, is the question. Well, no, that would be a save area, technically, wouldn't it? Oh, no, in... After, right there. Now, once you get after this, there's a save area. Oh, there's two of them! <laughs> oh, fuck! GG. <laughs> well, I think I've had enough death. Death? Not death. Death for a session. Haven't you, viewers and duddles? Uh, you know, I think that is a good place I to call I think this is quits. a good place to call it quits. Yeah, pretty good Again, amount of for another progress. fucking session where I die, so. Anyway, folks, we'll see you all next time in Resident Evil. Hope you all enjoy our spiel and nerd talk of it and all the fucking movies, because fuck those things. We'll see you all next time on part 11. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>